Okay, welcome back. This is Brian Black once again. Uh, third and final part of the Blender uh, tutorial on how to put the Starship Enterprise into the Blender. The 3D model we uh, left off with was the we have the saucer section, the body, and now we're going to be working on a warp core breach. So look out, you red shirts, so you're going to have to run, duck, and cover. First thing you're going to want to do is open up the blender. Now I've already started on a warp core engine here. I'll go ahead and show that to you. I'll click on it here and tab into edit mode. As you can see it's a standard cylinder capped on each end and all I did was I elongated it. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm not going to add yet to it. I'm going to show you how to duplicate something. Click on the object. I'm going to go to front view and I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate this engine and drag it on the X across over here to the other engine. It's going to be that simple to duplicate uh, your engine. The engine is going to be comprised of about three parts. Um, the two cylinders of course and then we're going to have two spheres. Um, Basically, that looks pretty good as far as distancing and all that. I did manage to find some uh, better things on there, but I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, UV sphere in here. And I'm going to rotate that uh, X90. Enter. There. And um, I'm going to drag this up into the front of the engine. I did, like I said, I managed to find some other images I'm going to uh, include in the package at the end of the tutorial. There's going to be some uh, blueprints. Actually, Josh found them. Uh, you know him as uh, Jab Hacksole. Uh, he's big on, um, what do you call them, anagrams. And Jab Hacksole is an anagram of Joshua Black, in case you haven't figured that out. I told him he should have gone with uh, Jab Halo Suck. Uh, that is also an anagram of his name, but uh, he didn't think that it was befitting since he does not suck at Halo. Okay, we've got our uh, sphere there, and I'm going to just uh, eliminate the um, verts on the uh, back side of it because they're not seen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. I'll duplicate this one over. Actually, I probably should have just done one engine and then duplicated all three sections over, but I'm going to go ahead and do the Shift, G, uh, <coughs> Shift D and then X to move it over on the X axes. Uh, the X plane, I guess you'd say. It was a shift. Anyway, um, there you go couple of warp core engines there but nothing to hold them up for supports and there's a little ball that goes in the back I'm gonna work on the back next um, right back in here where my cursors at now uh, th this should have a little flare to it just like the bottom of the hull does it's that retro uh, 60s look I guess that they had going on back then anyway um, I did an exact line in my Verts are all misaligned, so I'm going to do uh, a scale uh, Y, and I'm going to do zero. That will align your verts to the zero Y plane. So now, if you do make a, if you want to make a flat cut, that's the best way to do it. Is just uh, after you've cut it, if you misaligned it, just selecting the back of these verts here. I'm going to do another cut, and this one's going to be exact cut. And what I want to do is cut cut, 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 right up here, and the final cut out here, and that looks pretty good for the curve. Now, once again, like I did on the other one, and I didn't show you this very good on the last tutorial, so I'm going to show you more detail here. Um, you have to clean this section up. We're going to have to get rid of some verts. We're going to have to uh, stitch together or uh, uh, the word fill. We're going to have to fill and fix the uh, vertices in this area. Okay.
where to begin? Well, got to get rid of something here. All of these uh, back ones have to come out. Delete those. Now, um, by selecting uh, two verts, you're going to just draw an edge in. By selecting four, you're going to put two edges in and you're going to fill that area. If you've selected over four or more, it's going to give you a funny little thing. And I'm going to do this right now to show you. Um, if you select more and say fill, it's going to say something about make uh, auto, and you don't want that. Uh, you've selected more, say make auto, and you don't want that thing. What it is is along this edge there's too many verts to uh, do and you'll have to do the Alt M to merge those verts together into one, <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well now here I've selected two, uh, four, I'm sorry, four verts um, and I've filled. Now I'm going to select four more, the next four, and fill. I know you're not getting the effect of this, but you'll see what it does here. Uh, fill. Now look at it. There you go. One, two, three faces. And I'm just going to keep going right down the row here, filling them in. And uh, that's how we're going to patch this thing together. So fill and select the next two. Uh, I think it was here, here. Okay, fill. Those, these two, fill. Next two. You have to deselect, I'm using A to deselect them, and then I'm hitting the F to fill. So, oh, missed one right there. So I gotta get this one right here, that one there, there's the four together hit the fill button and see it turns pink so now we just need to get these last few down here at the base and I'll be done oh, I don't know if you can hear it but there goes my telephone I'm gonna have to pause the video and the tutorial okay we're back and um, I took the liberty of putting that little ball in there um, there's the little ball inside the, uh, it's just a sphere, I tucked it up in there, it's uh, really nothing, I'm sure you can figure that out. I did rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, but um, I don't know all the technical terms for this stuff, but uh, there's your warp, uh, there's your warp engine. Um, now what you could do what I should have done in the first place is select all three of these holding the shift key down and right clicking them and then you can do this uh, control J to join the mesh and that's what I did I made it one object now you can do a shift D and duplicate that over to your other engine uh, that's how it should have been done okay now we're doing the struts here the warp core struts, basically I just did a cylinder while I was off again. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the interruptions folks, but that's life. Basically now I'm doing a mirror image of this and I'm going to, uh, I duplicated it and I'm dragging it over to the other strut and it's just that simple. Uh, again it's like the neck. You've just have to flatten this thing out and uh, make two struts going up. It's that simple and pretty much my enterprise model is complete. It's done. You would set things to smooth. Oh yeah, one of the things you want to do is flip the normals because for some reason when you mirror the image I found out that the normals get flipped on these things and what that does is it turns the thing inside out. So if you used to apply a texture to this later on, you'd end up with a problem there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know the boys put a bunch of flaky credits up. I know Vincent had his fair share at probably demeaning my nature. 
It's no wonder that I'm not alcoholic from these two. So, anyway, have a good one. Hope you enjoy making models in the blender.